Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So I'm finally going to do a collection update video for you guys. Um, I've tried to shoot this once or twice. The lighting isn't ideal because I'm outside of my light box. But I figured I'd give it another shot today. So perhaps this will be the one that goes up. Now, I'm going to try to go through this quickly. Um, currently my collection is um, overly large. I've tried to downsize a couple of times. I will pull knives out of my knife box here. I'll put them to the side to sell and then magically they end up back in my knife box. So um, it's, it's the damnedest thing. Don't know how it happens. Anyway, so we'll go through it. Um, hopefully I can remember all of the model names. I am undoubtedly going to get some of them wrong. So just understand that when you're trying to go through everything quickly, uh, something's going to be incorrect. So I am using a toolbox. The top shelf of the toolbox is exposed and this is how I currently store my knives because of the size of the collection. I do have um, you know, toolbox padding down underneath all the knives so they don't get scratched up. And I opted for like in one with an anti-corrosive compound. Um, basically it's just coated in some sort of oil and um, I don't know it was the best decision because it gets oil all over the knives. So you will have little spots of oil on them. Um, not a huge deal but kind of annoying. Either way, let's get into it. We're going to start with the customs because they're on the top shelf. Um, there are there's some knives that I can't show you because they're part of larger projects. But as far as what I can show you, we'll go through it. So first of which, uh, this is the Clyde Chalinor uh, Raptor Reverse Tonto. It's the full size 4 inch blade. He is out of South Africa. Plenty of videos on him and his work. Same model but smaller. This is the Talon. This one has the uh, Dragon Scale Damascus. Um, you know, it's made from ball bearings. So same knife, just smaller size factor. And then obviously different steel and so forth. And I have two Talons because I'm quite fond of the model. The second Talon is done in Damasteel and Timascus. So I'm quite fond of the model having two. Next up is Sam Johnston. This is the Navaja model. It's one I got to work with him to have personally made for me, so very special piece. Bacon Damascus, carbon fiber, um, stone washed uh, bolster here, and uh, anyways, the Navaja. Next up is the Sergei Rogovitz model 17, Damascus backspacer, CPM 10V, laser work. I'm very fond of his work. Next, I do have two Grimm models. This is from uh, Nova Blades. And uh, this one's done with a Performance um, San Mai type steel. Pivot collars, uh, lots of nice millwork on the handles. Um, also a, a San Mai backspacer, Timascus pocket clip. So, very nice piece from Nova Blades. So that's the first one. Second one was done in Armor Core with uh, titanium handles, hole pattern, a bronze stone wash, um, a San Mai. Same steel that's used in the blade here is used for the pocket clip and the back spacer. So I um, like this model quite a bit. This is a new acquisition. This is the Shurgorov, um F5 Silk Custom Division. Picked this up from the USN show this weekend. A very, very nice piece. Pivot collars, Vanix 37 blade steel, um, roller bearing system. Very cool piece. Next up is the uh, Brown Knives Parabolic. This one was done in copper, integral knife, and uh, I think RWL 34 blade steel. He's working on his second model now. You can see. Um, prototypes and drawings and such on his Instagram. Gavco. I've had a lot of Gavcos over the years. This is my only current one. No, actually it's not my current one. Um, I have a fixed blade as well that was a gift from a friend, but this is his small Tiger model. It's a one-off. Um, really nice piece. Um, I like when he does do satin, you know, satin ground blades. Uh, he doesn't do them too often. So, the small Tiger, I guess. Koenig Knives Arius. 
This is one that um, special request from me, so stonewashed, polished uh, blade, orange peel handles, and then uh, I think it's Timascus backspacer here. Obviously polished and colored very nicely, so the Koenig Arius. All right, assume you guys aren't bored yet. Shane Atwood, a Utah knife maker, very fond of his work. This is the Freedom Fighter. It's a frame lock with, uh, you know, divots or um, craters and then, you know, blue anodized. Then he hand sanded all the flats to give it a really interesting look. Um, actually hides wear very, very well. Next Freedom Fighter, this one's a liner lock. Again, Shane Atwood, uh, marbled carbon fiber, lightning strike carbon fiber, Iguana Damascus, um, Damascus backspacer with detent balls. Uh, put in there, titanium pocket clip, super smooth, um, very, very much like Shane's work. Next up is the Atomic, also Shane Atwood, Zirconium, White Micarta, um, a stainless uh, Damascus steel, Alcatraz backspacer, Zirconium pocket clip, hidden hardware, really nice stuff. It's on washers, but incredibly smooth so all right next up is a custom slip joint this is the Meganique made by Johan Ellis of South Africa designed with Francois Nell um, a very you know it's a traditional knife obviously with modern materials and does have a Torx pivot the rest is pin though so very cool slip joint All right, I do have a SOG Flash 1, I think. Um, I can't remember. Flash 2? Yeah, Flash 2. This was a gift from a friend. It always ends up in my pocket when I go to the gym because I don't worry about it getting scratched up by my keys. Um, I've had it for a long time and carry it often enough, so cool piece. All right, let's go down here to the ZT drawer. Already seven minutes in. Oh, it's gonna be long. Damn phone. No. All right, the phone is now on vibrate. So zero tolerance triple nine. Um, very special piece. Really lucky to have one of these. Had a triple seven once upon a time. Never had a triple eight, but very very nice. You guys should all be familiar with that. The ZT0055, the Gus Ciccini collaboration with the spring loaded tab. Obviously, fairly new. You guys are all familiar with that. A few Kershaws. This is the injection with the Hawk Lock. Very cool piece. Um, only Kershaw I've really looked forward to in a long time. Kershaw CQC7K. I speak very highly of this budget knife. Um, this one is an excellent example. I did get to cherry pick it out of a batch of four. The current ZT801, uh, Todd Rexford collaboration, uh, very, very um, good. I mean, it's kind of a bar setting flipper for the price point, which I think is still like 180, so um, love the 801. The ZT220, Jens Anzo collaboration, really nice user, amazing ergonomics. It's still in production as of now. The, oh crap, what model is this? The 0456. This is the uh, Sinkovich collaboration. A little Sinkovich patch in here next to it. So, got that from Blade. Anyways, um, very nice knife. Very unique design. Um, very much like this one. The new Rex, I'm sorry, the new Les, Les George collaboration. The ZT920. Behemoth of a knife, very lightweight, very comfortable, high performance steel. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it, but very cool piece. All right, um, ZT0392 Purple Warncliffe, uh, limited edition ZT, very cool piece. 0392 Blue Bowie, also limited edition, very much like this one. ZT0392 original, had one, sold it, 
came back and bought this one again, so uh, very much like it. And the last, the ZT0392 Warncliffe with the steel flame pendant, or um, tab filler, filler tab, god, that's what it is. Again, big fan of the 0392 series. The ZT0460, the current, uh, you know, small Sinkovich collaboration. Um, the, actually, the 450 is still in production as well, but this is the newer of the two. So, very cool piece. Really nice in uh, slacks or shorts. Super lightweight. The ZT0562 carbon fiber with my little... Uh, superconductor um, over travel stop that uh, Rival Knifeworks made me. Still one of my favorite knives, um, you know, as far as just an all around best bang for the buck. Uh, probably would still be the one I keep if I had to sell everything, um, but very nice piece. The ZT0620 carbon fiber. Yeah, 0620 carbon fiber. Um, premium steel, carbon fiber, there's a budget version, just as with the previous one I showed you. Um, but it's always nice to have a really high quality Tonto in the collection. And then the last of the ZTs is the, is this the ZT0600? No, 0606 CF, limited edition with RJ Martin. Um, the pivotless pivot here was made by his son, um, Matt, Matthew Martin, and so very cool limited edition piece here, very much like it. All right, that should be all of the ZT and Kershaws. Next, we move down to the mostly Riots, but I do have some others in here. Guardian Tactical, big fan of Guardian Tactical. This is the Mini Helix and Titanium. Uh, picked this one up at Blade Show 2017. And I like this model a lot. So this was the first one I got. This is the Helix Nano Carbon Fiber. And obviously much lighter. Really exceptional piece. You guys should check them out if you have not yet. Uh, very cool ceramic bearings. Jesse Jero's Midtech? Midtechy? He doesn't call it that, thankfully. But a lot of handwork into this piece. This is the K2A. Pick this one up at... Um, Oh man, maybe it was the last USN Show 2016. Um, perhaps. Really nice user. Um, incredibly smooth on the uh, Teflon uh, washers. So, and uh, hell of a slicer. Uh, Conquest Tactical. Um, I guess my current, uh, or my only out the front or OTF. This one's obviously done in a Tonto. A big, mean, out the front knife. Um, need to do a video on this one, hopefully soon. So, cool piece. Alright, now we get into the Riot builds. So, the Beg Bodega collaboration that Be Beg had Riot build. This is the, obviously the blue with kind of the, oh, I don't remember the designation. Got this one, and then I have another one. So, black blade, blue handle. Um, black handle, satin blade. Obviously I like the model a lot considering that I have two of them and they're not uh, inexpensive for production knives but the machining is second to none. So that's the Steelcraft Bodega. The Riot Wave, one of their smaller offerings. Really nice little piece. Beautiful um, overlays and machine work on this particular one. So haven't carried it in a bit but I really like this one. Tashi Collaboration, The Future by Riot, their first integral, big integral friend, love this piece. So this is The Future. Again, yeah, most of these have had videos, um, actually I'd say probably 90 something percent of these have had videos. The Riot K1, this one's black in carbon fiber of course. Sorry, blue and carbon fiber. Amazing ergonomics, hell of a slicer, really nice piece. The K2, 
is the Tonto variant. Some nice machine work, nice colors, beautiful Tonto blade, hand ground. So that's the Riot K2. The Riot K3 is this one with the really nice carbon fiber inlays, compound ground blade. Um, portion of this was done by hand, of course. Big style pocket clip, really interesting backspacer. So that's the Riot K3. This one has a video, of course. The Riot K4 I just picked up this weekend. This one is the full black carbon fiber inlays, gold hardware, damascus steel pivot collar. So I now have the full K line, which is pretty sweet. So the K4. The Riot Epoch has this nice Mokutai, or uh, Mokutai Mokume, one of the two inlay. Also, very nice piece. Um, CTS 204P blade steel. Really nice backspacer. Really nice ergos, really nice action. So, haven't carried this one a little bit, but I uh, love this piece. Now we get into the Liang Ma Riot uh, build. So this is the um, Endeavor, one of the newer designs by Liang Ma, fully contoured, big blade, um, but obviously really well done. Have a video on that one. The Warrior Two, hand ground Tonto blade, one of my favorite Liang Ma designs. This one was anodized. So, again, most of these have videos. This is the Tempest by Liang Ma. Really nice, big, pointy knife. And this one has a video. The Kitchen Utility Folder in carbon fiber. He has my Carter versions as well. But the blue and the carbon fiber definitely spoke to me, so very cool piece from Leong. He likes to kind of think out of the box. Oh, shit. All right, no one died. No one died. All right, this is the GSD that gets shit done from Leong Ma. This is the tuxedo version. He had another version in uh, carbon fiber and so forth. You know, kind of a bolster lock. Very cool piece. Good size. I like it quite a bit. Great action. So, again, it's got a video. I apologize for the uh, light coming in the window here and kind of throwing off the white balance. But, alas, this is the only way that I can uh, do everything in a timely fashion. Liang Ma Warrior 1. One of his first models he did with Riyadh, I think his first, but um, very cool piece. Certainly underappreciated, or perhaps everyone's just thinking about the new models. So, that's the Warrior 1. Alright, so that's, uh, that's the Riyadhs. Next. Kaiser. Lancer 2. Um, Venino and Ray Laconico collaboration, I believe. Um, but definitely like this model. I think the lines are incredible. So this is the Lancer 2 by Kaiser. The Matt Degnan Guru. Uh, Matt's a friend of mine. Really like this model. Very well received. And this is the thumb stud version. There's a flipper version too. This one runs on bearings, but very, very nice little EDC. Alright, this one... Um, this one needs some TLC. This is the gun hammer designed in collaboration with Daryl Ralph from Kaiser, one of their newer models. Have not done a video on this one yet. It is upcoming, but gun hammer, fairly iconic design from Daryl Ralph. Some less than ideal aesthetic choices, but it is what it is. That video will be upcoming. This one is the Ursa Minor. This is a build from Kaiser and Ray Laconico, based on his little bear, uh, hence Ursa Minor in Latin. 
This is a Carmel Cutlery exclusive. Really nice. Um, small EDC knife or everyday carry fits in the pocket very well. More than adequate for obviously cutting tasks, but uh, you'd have to reach out to Carmel Cutlery for this one. Um, probably the best action of any of the Kaisers so far. Kaiser Critical, designed with um, Matt Christensen on, you know, obviously based on his model, the Critical. Um, need to do a video on this one as well still, but um, very cool knife. Video should be upcoming on this. So Kaiser Critical. The Megatherium from Elijah, Isham, and Kaiser. Uh, huge knife, uh, size-wise not the most practical, but I, I love it. It's fun. It's uh, one of the most unique designs I've seen in a long time. So of course I had to pick one up. I had a prototype on loan from Elijah many, many months ago. That's what I did the video with. Um, fit and finish, this one's every bit as good as the prototype. So very cool knife. All right, that's the Megatherium. Benchmade. The Benchmade Anthem. An integral, um, best Benchmade I've ever owned. It's it's just flawless um, with a custom Timastis clip from Adam Purvis or A Purvis Blades or Knife Works. I don't recall right now, but really like this Benchmade. Best one I've had in a very very long time. So then being an integral, I mean that's a that's a shoe in for me. Benchmade proper. The little slip joint, slip joint modern traditional from. Benchmade. Um, I like this model quite a bit too. I think it's one of their best sellers currently. No surprise there. So, Benchmade proper. Alright, Wee Knives. This is the Glimpse uh, 7.0 Steelcraft made by Wee for Todd Begg. Picked this one up at Blade. Was one of the first 100. So, so smooth. Um, the full production run should be coming up in the next month here, so uh, obviously stay tuned for that one. But very, very cool piece. So the glimpse. Uh, prototype. This I picked up at Blade. Still need to do a video on this one. Incredible ergos. One of the best I've handled in quite some time from Wee Knives. Um, it's basically a nicer version of whatever model this is. I don't remember the model name right now and then this one doesn't even have a model name but obviously an upgraded version of this knife. Uh, D2, no, D2 versus CPM S35VN. You know, carbon fiber and titanium versus G10. Um, but the ergonomics are actually better on this one than on the budget knife. Um, which you would think shouldn't really change that much but it, I don't know, it's really nicely done. So, yeah, here's this budget knife from we knives. Don't recall the model number right now. Don't really care. Uh, the Wii 620. Reverse Tonto Behemoth Blade. Very cool piece. I mean, obviously it's cool. I, I still own it. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Wouldn't still have it. So, thumb stud. Video on this one, of course. I think this was the 601, if I recall correctly, from Wee Knives, kind of their first in-house offering. So still on this one, I've had it for uh, quite a while now. The Wee Knives Integral, I think it's the 702 or the 703, I don't recall right now, but again, it's another Integral. I'm very, very fond of Integral, so of course this one is staying for, I mean, ever, hopefully. So, another one from Wee Knives. And last but not least, and again, I don't recall this model number, um, is the slender little one from Wee Knives here. Premium steel, very carryable, nice little pocket knife. So, thumb stud. Alright, so that's it for this drawer. Down we go. 
Millet and uh, Jerry Moan collaboration, the uh, Max Evolution. They've done a lot of really, really cool premium builds. This was uh, the basic or kind of entry level build. Uh, but very nice piece from Millet. So, there's that one. Uh, Spyderco, I, I think this is my only Spyderco. It's just a pair of two right now with the Flightanium scales. You guys have seen this one a lot. So, pair of two. From Vlad, or Vlad Knives, or V-Blades, um, the War Admiral, Beast of a Cleaver. So, again, this one got a video quite a while ago. The other knife from Vlad that I have is the Pharaoh. This one's newer. Really nice little Persian. Very fond of this blade. Um, just recently did a video on this one a couple weeks ago, so. The Pharaoh. Lion Steel. Still have the Lion Steel TRE. Three Rapid Exchange. And this is my suit knife. I always carry this one whenever I wear a suit. Just carries very well. Small, lightweight, very classy little blade. God. Of course. All right, so that's the TRE. The other line steel that I currently have is the SR11, the integral flipper on bearings. This one came out not too long ago and uh, still have it, still like it. Again, being an integral is an automatic win for my uh, collection, so. All right, still in Italy, Fox Knives, Desert Fox. Um, picked this one up at Blade. Very cool piece with the Dama Steel. Uh, nice machining. Pocket clip is terrible, but I still love it. And ergonomics are very nice. So, Desert Fox. Again, this one had a video not too long ago. So, there's that. All right. Uh, Custom Knife Factory. This is the Tegral. Very cool piece from Custom Knife Factory, one of my absolute favorites they've ever put out. And it is just insanely smooth. Um, longest, well, longest lasting Custom Knife Factory in my collection, so, so good. The other Custom Knife Factory that I've had for a long time is the Morph. This is the Morph 4, I believe, M390, full titanium construction, full flat grind. Um, Probably one of the best EDCs you'll ever find with that full flag grind and really nice ergonomics. So that's the what model is it again? I just forgot. More four. That's right. So more four. The other is the Ratata. Um, you know, kind of a based on the um, Decepticon series a little bit here. M three ninety. Uh, pretty much a full flat grind. This one is a designated prototype. Very cool piece. Really nice user. So that's the Rata Ta. All right. Um, next, my other Gavco, a small fixed blade. This was a gift from a friend at the USN last year. So um, obviously, being a gift, it will always stay with me. And it's a very, very nice uh, little fixed blade, so really happy to have that one. Other than that, um, Barlow, this was the uh, USN, I'm sorry, the blade. Oh, I'm getting tired. This was the Blade Forms 2017 uh, traditional form knife. So TC or GEC Barlow. So this one's fairly new. Then there's this other GEC. Again, don't I don't recall the model number right now. Um, yeah, don't really care. So that's my other uh, slip joint from GEC. Do you have a a few Victorinox? So Cadet. Um, damn, what is this one? When the hell did I scratch that? Holy crap. 
anyways, I got this one, and then I have a Leatherman Juice S2. So, that's what else do we have down here? Get a bunch of random crap down on the bottom uh, pens, flashlights, um, and then my last knife is the ZT. What model is this again? Uh, 180. So, this is my kind of heavy duty fixed blade here. So, anyways, guys, that is it. That took me a full 30 minutes trying to go as quickly as I could. Again, I do need to downsize. I have tried multiple times, and um, yeah, hopefully I will be successful in the coming weeks because obviously I have too many here to um, practically, you know, to carry or enjoy as uh, as much as I should. So, thanks so much for watching. Comments or questions? Um, I don't even know if I want you to ask me comments or questions. Leave comments. Don't ask me questions. It's too much to follow. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this satiated your curiosity and um yeah take care